it's Kiki and I'm gonna try to make a video for you really quickly it's about 12 18 on February 20th and I really want yes you are seeing me with no makeup well not true I have mascara the real they are real by benefit and my elf lip gloss I couldn't come in here completely without anything but um you're seeing me with my natural hair and it's basically like twisted into each other all the way go down and I was going to brush up my edges for you but it is what it is anyways so I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys like where my hair is because I want to get it like flat iron and trimmed at the edges and I was thinking about going to Ulta and it's terrifying me so I, let me just show you my hair and so you can see it's kind of tapered down at the bottom that's why I want to get it cut and inside is you can get this bottle at Sally's it has an olive oil, jojoba oil, um, Moroccan oil and then do 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 leave-in condition by I think Biomatrix so I just want to show you um, what my hair looks like and see this hair this is from when I had my weaves in it and they were too tight because my whole hair was weaved in but um, I just got back from the gym around like 11 something and I took a shower so I'm all like clean and fresh <laughs> and I was like let me make this video because if I do decide to go on Saturday and um, have her like blow up my hair and then flat iron it I want and then do it cut the ends I want you guys to be able to see like what my hair like look like so I have um, 4C hair type um, and I've grown to love my hair but as you see me I wear wigs all the time I don't um, wear my hair out because I ain't trying to do all of that so I usually like wear my hair out like twice a year for about a week so I do like one in about April and then I do another one in about like October um, November early November so hair is and I'll I'll do like you guys I won't open up the whole thing but here is where you, oops, you just saw my bra <laughs> but here's where my hair is you can't see on the black so this is where my hair is at the bottom and it's kind of like right there yes I'm, I'm showing you boobies but I'm sure you guys either have one or you came from someone who had one so you know no mutants here um, so that's where my hair is at the bottom and then this is what the edges look like so you can see that so you can see it does need like some trimming because it, you can feel it it's like smooth 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 and then right around here it's where it starts to get and feel a little bit kind of funny so I'm just gonna put a dab amount in my hand I don't know if you can see that Oop! and then put it in my hair and then kind of twist it back up for you guys so yeah but there are no people here that know how to do my hair. Most of them either have in and you know a natural hair without any chemical relaxers or like burn in it. Most of them either have their hair chemically relaxed or they have a different hair texture. Um, because in my area, most of the black people are um, recently mixed, so they're not like me, who for like for generations has been mixed and mixed. So we still look black and everything, but you know we have like four different cultures recently in our family. Um, they're more like um, they recently been mixed. They don't. It's like anyway. I don't. I don't even know how to go into it. But um, so their hair type is a lot more of the like um, more relaxed hair curls um than I do have so yeah I'm probably gonna get some thumbs down for that one <laughs> but so and here's my hair over here so this is a little bit higher I don't know how high that is you'll just have to guesstimate but I'm just gonna roll this baby back up it so needs a wash right now um because I've been working out I work at about six days a week 
And let me just say, like, right now I've lost about 15 um, pounds. So every time I lose 10 pounds, I get a gift for myself. And then every time I lose 5 pounds, I get um, $5 from all my supporters. And it goes into a big pile. And then when I meet my goal weight, and I got a lot of 5 pounds to lose to meet my goal weight, by the way. Um... Then I will take all of that and I will buy my one purchase, my one bag purchase for 2014. So it's going to be a bag and if you know I need to lose a whole bunch of weight to get it, you know it's going to be a very expensive bag. But, you know, so that's how I'm doing it. As far as food is concerned, I use um, tracking my food. I track my food and exercise using MyFitnessPal. It's free. It's online. You can find me on there. Let me know if you're interested. It's a great software program. I can, you know, put in everything I do and all the food I consume I, I'm, and, you know, see results. And I keep track of how much they say I should lose versus how much my body type is actually losing um, per month so I can have realistic expectations rather than being disappointed. Um, but it, it's usually like a five pound difference between um, what my fitness pal says and what my actual end of the month um, weight loss is. So here is, let's see, part of a side. Let's see if I can show you. So here's where my side is and here's where it falls right there. I'm kind of blending into the door in the background. <laughs> um, so, doo -doo. but I did a hairstyle, I call it the pin and tuck, and there's a video if you go back about it. It's one of my favorite hairstyles. Well, after doing the pin and tuck, I went ahead and and like puffed up my hair into like a nice poof. I'll probably insert a picture right here. Anyway, I puffed up my hair into a nice poof and wore it like that for about three days. And I was so, so sad because I lost a lot of hair because when it was time to unknot it, it was just a, a disaster zone. It was just a disaster. So that's, you know, right here, my hair is much shorter than the rest of my head. So let me show you. I'll step back. So there's right here. And see, it kind of thins out like severely. Look at that. Look at that nonsense. So it's like right here is the thickness, and it stop, and then it starts to thin it out. And all of you, that is because of the hairstyle was like pulled up, and then they had like a nice little poof, and I was feeling all girly, you know, during that time. And that poof, that poof is gonna cost you. <laughs> that poof was expensive. Um. So I don't wash my hair that often. Um, yes, I said that. I don't wash my hair that often. Um, but what I do do every day is every day when I take a shower, I wet my hair down. So, you know, I let it get moisturized in the shower. And then when I come out, I try to spritz it with oil or, you know, put in some leave-in conditioner. No, I'm not religious about it. So it's not like I'm doing this like every day. Like, I'm not having my hair rule me around <laughs> because I'm too lazy for that but what I do do is I do try to moisturize it and then I wear the wig caps like I said before which are really important now as far as how long I've been natural I've been natural for ever however I started to pay attention to my hair um, back in 2012 in 2012 I decided no more weaves I would wear just wigs and I started to you know moisturize it, pay attention, watch videos, see what other um, young ladies and women were doing to take care of their hair. Now this one is kind of like, I don't know, a flat, I guess it's called a flat twist, it's kind of flat twisted on there, so I'm going to go ahead and unloosen that. Now one thing I will say about flat twists, let's say you are doing a flat twist and you are running out of hair. Um, and you want to take from, you know what I mean, you want to take hair from uh, like the other side of the twist and divide it so you can continue twisting it in a two-stranded twist. Don't do that because if you have 4C hair, because your hair gets into a knot. And due to that knot, when it's time to unravel your hair, it's a disaster zone. So whatever you do, try not to do um, that nonsense. 
yeah, I said it. Try not to do that nonsense because you don't want to be frustrated because you have a knot and all of that. Now, I do use this brush and it has my hair in it. I got this one at Rite Aid if you're in my area. In the middle of nowhere is my area. <laughs> I got this one at Rite Aid for about five dollars plus it was on sale um they i saw them at sally's i had initially gone to sally's first found it for like 12 bucks and then went to right eight side for five i rolled my vehicle back to sally's and said yeah this ain't working <laughs> and returned it so here's the side and my sides are always kind of funny here's another side it's very different from the one right there and i cut them so last year around this time i've cut them but you see how thin they are and I don't know if that's because of the way I sleep or if I'm not getting, you know, enough vitamins. And I know I should be taking more vitamins because I am anemic. Um, but, yeah, so it's not that long. It's, you know, I don't even think I should count it, but it's that, that long. So, and then I have my weightless peak, which I'm very proud of, you know. Then I'm going to turn somebody kid into my husband one day says so they should be worried so here's you know the front part of the front and that just goes down here and I um, so right here on me uh, right there so that is my hair here's the hair texture if you can see it is 4C hair it's I feel like you know 4C hair sounds like go see hair 4C go see go see who see like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> so the reason I was in Ulta yesterday too was because I had to do my eyebrows. You know, they're freshly done. They're nice and clean. And I don't trust many people with my eyebrows. Like, that is the only thing I will throw a tantrum. Like, you mess up on anything else on me, I'm like, yeah, that's okay. No worries. But when it comes to my eyebrows, I'm like, I would rather look like a hairy, beasty, unibrow monster than <laughs> to have you go ahead and mess up my eyebrows. It is that serious. So... I forgot to bring my little spray bottle to wet my hair, but usually what I do is, and you can see the leave-in conditioner settling at the bottom, at the bottom. But I shake this baby up, and then if my hair is kind of too much hair up there, I'll just go ahead and moisturize that in, and then let it pass down to the hair. And if I feel adventurous, I just turn on the faucet and wet it and that's my hair and like say when my hair is w like wet wet like when I'm trying to clear it out I do use this um, denim brush but the key to the denim brush is you have to remember I'll just leave it like that to stick out you have to remember you have 4C hair you don't have 4A, 4B, you don't have 3C hair you can't be taking it as though you have relaxed hair and passing it through like like some type of movie style no, <laughs> you have to take small pieces con paciencia, with patience, and start from the bottom and work yourself up to the top. So it can be done. I know a lot of people are like, you can't use a denim brush and 4C hair, blah, blah, blah. It can be done. It can be done with minimum um, breakage while still clearing out your hair. But you have to remember what kind of hair you have. You know, if you want to do this big extravagant, you know, brushing, you know, being lujoso, then, you know, you got the wrong type of hair, you know. <laughs> so, you know, people need to consider that when they're doing our hair. So that's kind of my question. So here's my, my concern. And you guys out there know better. Should I trust this woman with my hair? Supposedly she has 22 years of experience of doing hair. But my guess is she has 22 years of experience doing hair that is not 4C hair or that is relaxed hair and that's what's terrifying me because yeah you can have 22 years of experience but that don't mean anything if you don't know how to deal with my hair and once I open this entire bush then it turns into a monster and I, my guess is because I wash my hair in sections you know I, I pre-poo with conditioner um, Pantene and I wash my hair in sections so my guess is this human being is going to try to open up all my hair and try to wash it all at once and it's 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 terrifying me it is terrifying me I won't lie to you guys so 
let me finish up twirling this baby. Hold on. I'm putting these two in here. Yeah, like this. So let me finish up twirling this baby. And I love you guys. And I hope to see you soon. And thank you for joining me tonight. Bye.